The next thing that we're going to need is a new particle system to display our decals. So I'm just going to right click in the hierarchy and select particle system. And this one is going to be really minimal in terms of the features that we're using in the inspector. We're going to turn off looping. We're going to turn off play on awake. We're going to turn off emission. We're going to turn off shape. So we're basically the only module that we're using is going to be the renderer. And so, and the only other setting that we need to change in the main module, because we're going to be setting most of this via script is the simulation space. So the simulation space we want to have in world space, because we are going to be passing in world space coordinates to spawn our particles in. So, we don't want to spawn particles relative to the particle system. We want to spawn them relative to the world. So we're going to set the simulation space to world, turn off emission and shape. And so the way that we're going to be using this, these particles are not going to move, right? They're just going to be spawned and they're going to stay there to display our decals. So the next thing that we're going to need is we are going to set the renderer. So the traditional, a traditional, let's actually turn emission on for a sec, just so we can see and simulate. So here we can see, right, this is the default particle material and we'll, we'll reassign that in a second. Um, and oh, I turned off looping, let's turn looping back on temporarily. So we can see that we have these circular particles, right? That look like spheres. And if we rotate around, they are, they appear spherical, right? But these are actually flat quads, little, you can think of them like little pieces of paper with a circle painted on it. And so the way that they appear 3D is through a technique called billboarding in which they're continuously rotated to face the camera. So the camera turns and they turn to face it and therefore appear to be a sphere when in fact they're just a circle. So our decals, we want them to stick to the wall and not rotate, right? So we are going to use the mesh render mode for our particle system. So if we turn that on, we can see now we're instantiating particles which are actually cubes with that same decal on it. Let us uh, replace the material. We're going to drag in our splat decal particle. And we are going to switch our mesh type, not from a cube, but to a quad. But this is going to be a quad which will not rotate, right? So we can see that it's a flat quad and it's not rotating to face the camera, it's just going to be rotated to stick to the wall and then stay there. So now that we have our material and we have our mesh render mode, we can turn off emission and turn off looping and get ready to write our script. Now, we are actually going to write two classes to control our decal particles. And before I get into scripting, I just want to show you the main function that we're going to be using from the docs so we can kind of get an idea about what our goals are. So we're going to be using particlesystem.setParticles. And what this allows us to do is to pass in an array of particles and specify a whole bunch of variables. So if we open the particles struct, we can see that we can set all of these fields for each particle in our system, right? So the ones that we're concerned with are the position, the rotation in 3D, because we're using the mesh render mode, not billboards, the start color, and the start size. So we want to create an array with these fields in it and then pass that into particle system.setParticle to display those particles. So the way that we're going to do it is we are going to create a little data class to hold just the information that we want 
to record the collisions and to record information about the size and the color before we actually turn it into particles and display it. So we are going to create in our scripts folder a new C Sharp script, and this is going to be called Particle Decal Data. And we're going to double click this to open it for editing. And we can actually get rid of mono behavior because it doesn't need to extend mono behavior, and we can get rid of start and update. This is just going to be a simple C Sharp data class. And in it, we are going to store the following fields. We're going to have a public vector three for position. We're going to have a public float for size. We're going to have a public vector three for rotation. And we're going to have a public color for color. And that's all we need in this class. So we're going to save this. And then we are going to create the class that's actually going to work with an array of this, these particle decal data classes. So let's return to Unity. And we are now going to create, let's rename our particle system. This is going to be called splatter decal particles. And we are going to add a component called particle decal pool and create an add and double click it to open it for editing. Okay, so actually before I write this class, let me just check the chat. I skipped a, I skipped a pause there. Let me just check the chat and make sure we're doing okay before we move on to this because this is actually going to be a, a longer uh, piece.